it's nice that we get the opportunity to reflect back on the last 10 years of Android and really offer some targeted answers to problems that people have been having. Yes, yeah, so we looked at what our problems there were and then created Jetpack as a way to help people make high quality apps easier. Um, one of the areas that we never really solved well though was UI and we really wanted to look at how could you make it super simple to build a UI. The right pieces are in place to put forth a, a very different model of development. Not only do we see Kotlin gaining a whole lot of momentum, but we also see uh, reactive UI frameworks getting a lot of momentum. And Kotlin provides this connective tissue that's really part of what enabled Compose is that Kotlin's so powerful. And I think once people start seeing Compose in action, it, it really becomes like a delightful thing to program. Even with Compose and this new way of building UI, it needs to work with all of your existing apps. It's so important to make sure that when people adopt Compose, you can adopt just a part and it's compatible with your existing views. If you want to get started very small, it's very easy to do that. You just want to iterate an idea quickly, you want to see it live, you want to make a change and see it automatically. I think I'm pretty excited about just writing a whole lot less code when I'm writing UIs. When there's less code, there's less places for bugs to hide, too. So. The core consideration when it came to ergonomics was not just code size, but understandability. It's going to be easy to get high-quality apps that work natively against Android. I'm looking forward to us learning from, from our users to like show us what they think is really nice to work with. Yeah, the best parts of Compose won't come from us. And that's really the most exciting thing about it. Mm -hmm.